you know, AB a- says a whole lot, right? I mean, just whether it's about Tom Brady, whether it's about something else. And I, I normally don't agree with him a whole lot because just the, the way and some of the things he says. But I think in this case, he's making a point. I think that more people are just upset on who it's coming from, right? He makes he makes some, some valid points about Colin Kaepernick saying that, you know, hey, he, he took the money from the NFL, the settlement, the Nike commercials, all these things, and, you know, trying to get back in. He don't want to play football. Well, I think that a lot of people think that way. Um, about, you know, the, all the other stuff that Colin Kaepernick has going on and his opportunities he's had to get back into the NFL and, and just has it. Um, we all know the lawsuit he had with the NFL against him and, you know, some of the things he were, were spoken, uh, was speaking out about publicly. Um, but at that point, man, you had your opportunity. And I think that it would be a more of a valid point. It would probably have been an even bigger deal if it came from somebody other than AB. So it was like, Hey, the, we get the message, but people are not trying to listen to the messenger. But he did say some things in there that was that was right. And he always, he's always going to go off a, a little bit off, off off the board, right? I mean, it's just who he is. Um, but he, he made he made if you listen to what he said, he actually made a couple of valid points in there. Very uh, very interesting comments. But it's been wild to see this ride that Antonio Brown's been on since football. I feel like he's been everywhere doing everything. And that just reminds me of uh, another guy that I know. And that's you, brother. You're doing everything these days. We're talking about a guy that had an absolutely legendary collegiate and professional uh, football career. And then now looking at all the things you've done afterwards, whether you want to talk about your lights out clothing line, your lights out MMA league. And and now... I can't believe I didn't know more about this before, considering how close we are. I'm hearing you have an insurance company too. Yeah. You know, this resounds huge with me because I'm a business guy. You got to tell us more about this family first, right? Yeah, family first life, man. I partnered with them, uh, life insurance agency. If somebody told me two or three years ago that I would have a life insurance agency company, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I did what you're doing right, Mojo. I did what you did right now. I laughed, right? Because somebody, when I initially got my license to be a life insurance a- agent, um, you know, my sister was laughing, like, "Yeah, right. You're not gonna." And yeah, so I now have, you know, um, I've worked with about 200 agents in, in, in uh, Family First Life and partnered with them over the pandemic, and it's probably been one of the best things I did post career, man. So, um, need life insurance? Hit me up. If you're looking for a job? Hit me up. Uh, had a great partnership with Family First Life. This just makes a lot of sense to me, my man, because who better to call if the lights go out than Sean Merriman? Better make (laughs) sure you're insured. That's the catchphrase right there. I don't need any payment. I just want some free life insurance, and we'll call it. (laughs) If the lights go out, you know who to call. Sean Merriman and family first. That's right. That's right.